Are you willing to stay with him forever? I am. No matter if in the future he is rich or poor, or if he is healthy or not, are you willing to stay with him forever? I, I am. am. You. I left the ring at home. I've got it now. I'm almost there. I'll give you five minutes only. I'll be quick. Kiki, Kiki, something's wrong. Sterling is in trouble. Sterling? <laughs> Sterling, wake up! <laughs> Sterling, <laughs> Sterling! Sterling. You'll wake up, won't you? My mom wants me to go on a blind date. I agreed. But don't be mad. I'm just doing it to appease her. I'll wait for you no matter what. What? She's come here again? Who let you in while we were away? Mom. Don't call me mom! If it weren't for you, would Sterling be like this? I never approved of your marriage. You jinx! Get out of here! Hello, Miss Jung. I'm your blind date. Hi. I'm different from most guys. I fully support my girlfriend, being a career woman. But of course, being more family-oriented is better. After all, a home needs both people. Don't you think? I'm fine with that. Do you have any material requirements? I'm okay with whatever. Are you not satisfied with me? No, you're fine. I think you're great too. You're beautiful and understanding. Why don't we give it a try? Miss! Miss? Sorry, I have to go. I haven't even had your number yet. You? No need. Sterling? Is it really you? Sterling, you finally come back. Hello. Anything you need? Sorry, I got the wrong person. What am I thinking? You chased me for three blocks. What? You can't even give me a reason? Kiki, I chased you for three blocks. What did I do wrong? Tell me. No, figure it out yourself. Fairy, princess, my queen. It's my fault. Please forgive me, okay? Hmm? Sorry. Your back looked like someone I know. Let's watch the meteor shower here tonight. You can try our special drink at the time. Memories. Memories? Yeah. Some say it helps people forget their worries and forget the person they miss the most. You dressed up so nicely. 
Of course, I have to look good. Besides, I have other friends too. Are they guys? Are you jealous? I won't tell you. Stay home and guard the house. Ah. I'm not guarding the house. I'm not a dog. I'm coming with you. It's a girl's night. Why would you go there? A girl's night? I don't believe it. You're dressed so nicely. I'm not comfortable with it. <gasps> what are you doing? If I can't go, then no one's going. Put me down. <laughs> so annoying. So what? Sorry for the wait. Here's your memories. Thank you. Tonight's Andromeda meteor shower happens once every six years. If two people in love make a wish together, they can be together forever. Forever. We could have had that too. All right, get a little closer. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> Hold it. Great. <laughs> Drunk already? Look, the meteor shower? <sighs> Sterling? If possible, I wish we never met. Never started anything. That way you could live a good life. I don't need you to love me. I just want you to live well. Is there anyone who can help him? <laughs> Sterling! Don't be like this! Call an ambulance! Why force something that has no outcome? So foolish. Remember to go with the flow. Giving up is your fate. Where am I? That drink really gave me a headache. Why does my skin look so good today? So the Andromeda meteor shower has sparked a lot of interest among locals. Experts say that this meteor shower is an extremely rare phenomenon visible to the naked eye. This outfit? I thought I lost it. It said the next meteor shower will happen in six years. So, viewers, after six years in 2022, Sir. will you watch the meteor shower again with the person next to you now? Sir, what year is it now? 2016. 2016? Weren't the old buildings here already torn down? Could this really be six years ago? Six years ago during that election? That was... the day I met Sterling. I'm running for the director assistant. No, it's not good. Hello, I'm Kiki Jiang from the creative planning department. I'm running for the director assistant position. Make way! <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. Are you okay? I don't need your help. Who asked you to butt in? You should watch where you're going. It's not my fault. The road is so wide. Get it straight. This isn't a bumper car ride at an amusement park. Uh, no, I was just... Hi. Hello, Mr. Sterling Goo? Your 2 p.m. interview is about to start. Are you nearby? Oh, sorry. Please cancel it for me. Hmm.
Sorry, sit here. I'll take you to the hospital. I have to get to work. Come on, you're injured. Let me help you. Why act so familiar with me? Be careful, ma'am. Who are you calling, ma'am? Uh, sorry, ma'am? You're still calling me that? Get on my bike, ma'am. Stop calling me! Stop calling me that! All right, I get it. I apologize if I offended you. But let me take you to the hospital first, okay? Okay. Get on the bike. As long as none of this happens, Sterling can survive. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Sterling. I never imagined I'd come back six years ago. I can't tell. If this is a dream or reality, this dream feels so real. Because in the dream, you're healthy. I don't want to wake up. But even in this dream, I won't disturb your life again. I want you to live safely. Hello, Kiki? Hello? The meeting is starting. Where are you? All right, I'm coming. Kiki, where did you go? Lena has already gone in. Kira, you haven't changed at all over the years. Huh? What are you on about? Hurry up, I'm so anxious. Our boss looks a bit pissed. Please come this way. Boss? What's wrong? Speak. How long have we been waiting for Kiki Jong? Who knows if she is truly busy? Or if she just doesn't care about what you've said. <coughs> hey? Kiki! Come on, we were waiting for you. Have a seat. Okay. All right, now that you're both here, I have something important to announce. If nothing unexpected happens, there will be a personnel change regarding me at the end of the year. I will be promoted to general manager of the group. Congratulations on the promotion, boss. It's too early to say. Nothing's certain yet. It's definitely going to happen. <laughs> well, if I do become the general manager, one of you two will be chosen to fill my position. Do your best. Don't let me down. Don't, Don't worry, worry, boss. All right, meeting adjourned. It seems like we're fated to be rivals. We were competitors in school, and now we're competitors again. It's just a promotion. Nothing to compete over. Kiki Jung. Are you saying I'm not even qualified to be your opponent? If you put it that way, it makes me sound petty. I just think this position isn't that important. Not important? You don't want to be the director? After all these years, you've always taken what I want. So, what are you playing at today? Aren't you tired? It is tiring. But I'm tired for your sake. I never wanted to take anything from you. I'm leaving. You! It looks like the work is still the same as before. Kiki? It seems we have a new team member. I heard he was recruited directly by Mr. Lee. Seems like he has some connections. Whatever his background, as long as he's capable, nothing else matters. But I understand a lot more now, and I'm more tolerant than before. That's true, but I feel like I don't even recognize you anymore. It's only been a few days, and your mindset has changed. Is this still the Kiki we know? <laughs> All right, bring in the newcomer. Ah, uh, Come on in. Meet our team leader. Sterling, this is our leader, Kiki Jung.
Kiki, how is this possible? This is Sterling Goo. Leader, hello. My name is Sterling Goo. Are you okay? I'm fine. Are you feeling unwell? I need a moment. Kiki? This is your workstation. If you need anything, feel free to ask me. <sighs> Hello everyone, I'm Sterling Goo. <sighs> Since your son joined in our company, as long as I'm here you can rest assured. Boss, All right. I need to talk to you. I... I'm off. Didn't you see I was sending off Mr. Fang? What's so urgent? Sorry, boss. I just want to know why you put a newcomer in our team without telling me first. This one's on me. I didn't inform you, but this time it's different. Sterling Goo is a talent. You'll know. Boss, you know, I don't accept useless people slacking off under me. I can't tolerate that. If you insist on keeping him, then I might as well resign. Kiki Jiang, why do you always talk about resigning? Listen, Sterling Goo graduated from a top design school abroad. I bet he'll surpass you in the future. And another thing, Sterling Goo was introduced by Mr. Fang. Let alone you. Even I can't just fire him easily. But boss, I... Enough. Get back to work. We shouldn't even be crossing paths anymore. Where did it go wrong? Let go, I don't need your help. <sighs> I told you I don't need your help. Oh. Can you be gentle? I'm injured. Ma'am, no wonder no man loves you. Look who's talking. If it wasn't for you, would I be in this mess? I... Why aren't you answering? Your girlfriend? It's my mom. Hello, mom. Hmm. I didn't go. Something came up here, so I missed the interview. What right does he have to say he loves me? Mom, don't mention him to me. I'm never going back to his company. Uh, don't tell me you missed the interview because of me. What are you thinking? I wasn't interested in that company in the first place. It had nothing to do with you. Really? Ma'am, can you be quiet for a moment? I just don't like owing you. If you don't want to owe me, I wouldn't mind if you treat me a meal after you recover. I'm not treating you a meal. <sighs> ah. Your phone. Hmm. Could this all be fate? Kira. Hmm? Uh, leader! No way. Sterling, I can't have any interactions with you. Absolutely not. Weird. What did I do wrong this time? Why is it still 2016? Sterling. Uh, leader. Did you consider the client's market situation and product status in this proposal? <laughs> this doesn't seem like the level of a top student. Leader. My design was meant to break traditional thinking. No need to explain. And then... I know. It takes time to adapt to a new environment. Go over the design requirements for this project carefully. Give me five different proposals in three days. Three, three days? days? Leader, a normal project proposal takes two days. 
Five proposals in three days is a bit tight, isn't it? I'm only asking for drafts. That shouldn't be hard, right? Everyone in our team can manage it. Why can't you? No one can do that. Exactly. Kiki, don't push your subordinates so hard just because you want a promotion. Sterling is still new. Give him more time. I don't mean to argue with you, but it takes time to develop the inspiration. If I rush like this, I might end up with something... I don't need you to teach me how to do my job. Our team values efficiency. If you can't handle it, then quit. Fine. Three days it is. Sterling? Don't get upset. Our leader is probably just in a bad mood. She's usually nice to us. Thank you. No problem. I'm off. Leader, here's my proposal. Mm. All right. Kiki Jiang! <laughs> What's your problem? Is this how a leader behaves? I spent three days and nights on this, and you just tore it up. I don't need to look. I already know that what you made isn't what I want. Fine. You asked me to analyze the market, so I pulled data from the last five years. You asked me to analyze the real estate projects, so I analyzed every project in our city. You asked me to explain the marketing strategy, so I consulted many people. I don't understand what I did that made you so dissatisfied. I've only been here a few days, and you gave me the most complex work. If you don't like me, I can quit! Kiki? I actually think Sterling did- Yes! I just don't like you! So please, just quit! Sterling. I'm sorry. I really don't know... what else I could do. Sterling! If anything happens to Sterling, I won't forgive you! I don't want that too. Sterling will be fine. He'll definitely be fine. You're just a jinx! Kiki, Mr. Lee wants to see you. Alright, I got it. Kiki? I heard... You want to kick Sterling out of your team? Why? Isn't he doing well? Yes. Then you're just making things difficult for him. <laughs> Kiki. Well, if he really is incompetent, I'll support your decision. 
But I looked at the proposal too. It's good. I even sent it to the Ms. Dong. Guess what? It got approved. It got approved? Not only approved, she really likes it. You know, how long we've been after that project. Could we have done it without Sterling? So no matter what's going on between you two, right now, immediately take Sterling and secure that project for me. Uh, boss, do I really have to take him? Yes, he did the project. If not him, then who? All right, I'm on it. Pack your things. We're going to meet the client now. Uh, hurry up, pack Quickly, up. Quickly, take this. Wait. And these documents. Here. Thanks. Good luck. Leader. Wait for me. Leader, you sit in the back. I'll sit in the front. Miss Dong, Dong, hello. hello. Have a seat. Kiki, to be honest, the proposal Mr. Lee gave me this time was really impressive. Mm. You know, it's rare for a proposal to get my approval on the first go. Thank you for the compliment. This proposal isn't fully refined yet. It only took three days to complete. Only three days? Mm. It's still a draft for now. We'll provide a full version later. I think it's already quite good. It's expressed what we want pretty well. <sighs> Kiki, good job. Thank you, Ms. Dong. By the way, let me introduce. This is our department's new colleague, Sterling Gu. Hello, Miss Dong. He's the one who created the proposal. You did this? Uh, yes, I did. So tell me, where did you get your inspiration? Uh, this proposal was actually completed under my leader, Jiang's guidance. We made it together. She took me to do field research. That made me realize our building is right on the city's central axis. The concept of the central axis is very important, which led to the idea of integrating the values throughout the project. Keep central and progressing steadily. Additionally, the project's location is already prominent. So the more understated, the more noble. The brand image should contain understated elegance. Today went pretty smoothly. Securing the project shouldn't be an issue. Yes, leader. All right, let's all head home. It's late. No need to return to the office. Okay, I'll leave then. Go. Leader, I was wrong earlier today. I apologize. You're not going to kick me out over this, right? That was my fault. Now go ahead. All right, leader. Hello, Kiki? Hey, Kira. Are you off work yet? If you haven't had dinner, I can bring you something to eat. Bye. Kira, hurry up! Are you coming back to work? Ms. Dong seemed quite content with this project, so I want to make some revisions. Sterling's work still isn't fully polished. <sighs> Kiki, you know, you're all tough talk but soft inside. You scared Sterling so much today. I even felt sorry for this little handsome guy. What nonsense are you talking about? I'm hanging up then. He's fine. Kiki was right during the day. The proposal still has flaws. I have to fix them tonight. Sterling? Hmm? Working late? You haven't left too. I'm about to head out. As expected from a top student, starting with a bang right from the beginning. You know, 
I wish you were in our team. Lena, let me ask you something. Was it you who gave my proposal to Mr. Lee? Yes. I'm not like Kiki. She doesn't recognize talent. I couldn't let your talent go to waste. Good proposals should be seen by the leaders. <sighs> Thanks, Lena. If it weren't for you, I would have packed up and left. Why say that? Sterling? Honestly? We've all seen how Kiki treated you over these past days. If you want to switch teams, just tell me. I'll talk to Mr. Lee. Uh, isn't that inappropriate? What's inappropriate about it? Don't you think Kiki's team isn't a good fit for you? Our team would be better. Lena, what are you doing? You've been working hard all day. Relax a little. Don't move. Kiki Jiang, you have no right to feel awkward. Morning, leader. Morning. Morning, leader. Morning. Leader, morning. I'll get that document to you. Okay. I'll take a look. Kiki, help me with the coffee. It's too hot to hold. Why did you buy so much coffee? Feeling overpaid? You guys have been working so hard these days, so I wanted to do something nice. Here. Morning. Thank you. Uh, morning. Morning. I have some good news to share with everyone. Ms. Dong just called. The brand strategy project for Balin Center has been handed over to us. <laughs> this is mainly thanks to Sterling Gu from Kiki's team. He's the biggest contributor. So, Kiki... Take Sterling and oversee the entire project. All right. Lena, your team will also need to cooperate. This is a big project for the entire department. Any questions? Hmm. Okay. Uh, Kiki, come with me to the office. All right. Good for you. Kiki? All right. This project is yours to manage. Don't worry, boss. I'm confident in it. I trust you completely. But there's one thing... Whatever's going on, between you and Sterling, whether it's a personality clash or anything, I don't want to hear any more rumors reaching my ears. I'm sorry. That's my fault. I... This here is a gift from a friend of mine. Take your team out for some bonding this weekend. Learn to be a leader. Kiki? Thank you, boss. <laughs> Mr. Lee must be feeling generous, letting us have fun. All right, tomorrow's Saturday. Everyone's free, right? Definitely, Definitely free. free, sis. All right, Ben, call and book the venue. No problem. <laughs> Go ahead. Sterling, hmm? are you free tomorrow? It's okay if you're not. Leader, how could I refuse? Of course I'm free. Everyone's going, right? All right. See you tomorrow morning at the company entrance. Okay. <sighs> awesome. Before these two change their minds, we're going to have fun tomorrow. Kiki, you're going team building tomorrow? Actually not. We're just going out to have some fun. Fun? Well, everyone here says they want to go too. Why don't you take us along? This project is a joint effort for all of us. You're the leader, right? What? We're all from the creative department. You're not going to play favorites, are you? Of course not. We'll all head out tomorrow. Great. Everyone get ready. We're going to have fun tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> Kiki, why did you agree? She was just waiting for me to refuse, so she could put on a show for the boss. Hi. Hi. Whatever. The more the merrier. What did you pack in that suitcase? The weather's so nice today. You brought so much stuff. Look. Kiki, are you coming or not? Uh, coming! Ben, call him again. His phone doesn't have a signal. I can't reach him. Hey. Forget it. Let's go without him. Let's go, come on. Let's go. Shouldn't we wait for Sterling? Everyone's waiting. Hurry up! 
She's here. Hurry up. Let's go. Hurry, sis. Come on, hurry. <laughs> the scenery is beautiful. You know, what a pity we can't reach Sterling. Yeah, why isn't he here yet? Sis, this is our first team-building event. Hmm. And this guy dares to stand us up. Exactly. Don't worry. I was here before dawn. Huh? Sterling, you're here? Good for you. Hmm? Do you know how many calls we made to you? How long we waited for you downstairs? I know I was wrong, leader. I bought too many snacks last night. I couldn't carry them all. So I drove up early this morning, thinking I'd get everything ready and surprise you all when you arrived. But I didn't expect there to be no signal in the mountains, so I couldn't reach anyone. Sorry about that. Ah. Everything's ready now. We can start any time. Sterling, good for you. Sterling! Impressive. Ah. Lena? Excuse me. I'll help you. Sterling, can you help me with my suitcase? Huh? Give me a hand. It's too heavy. I can't handle it. Oh. Sure. Got it. It's not even cooked yet. All right, here you go. You know what? Last time she did this too. A lot of the food got burnt. It's lucky you're here. Kiss! Kiss! Come on! Kiss! 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 You know, it would be great if we could live here forever. Let's come here every week. And never be apart. You just promised me. <laughs> Open your mouth. Uh. <laughs> Sterling, are you trying to burn my mouth? <laughs> Sterling, get back here! <laughs> you can't catch me? Take your time. No seasoning? Then what are we going to eat after all this grilling? What? Huh? Our team prepared all this, and you're not helping, exactly. but instead complaining? All right, stop arguing. I'll go check if there's a store nearby. I'll go. I know this place well. Sterling, come with me to fetch some water. You go ahead. Huh? Kiki. Come on. Are you okay? I'm fine. I thought you weren't coming. Oh, it's my fault. I should have told you all earlier. Kiki said she wasn't going to wait for you. If you hadn't come, I wouldn't have wanted to either. It's fine if I don't come, but you have to. Yeah. Kiki Jong is just like that. If you need any help, you can tell me. Lena. I've got to go. Sterling! What's wrong? What's wrong? Sterling? Are you okay? Are you okay? What happened? Sterling! Sterling, what's wrong? Someone help! Sterling, where does it hurt? Sterling! Are you okay? Sterling, are you alright? Who brought this cake? I did. Did Sterling eat this piece just now? Yes, he felt unwell right after. We all ate it just now. Did you put peanuts or something in the cake? No. I only use fruit and cream. There must be, or he wouldn't be like this. He said she didn't. What are you doing? Shut up. Ben, bring the car around. Take him to the hospital. Hurry, Ben, hurry. Family of the patient? 
Doctor, how is he? He is out of danger now. That was indeed caused by a peanut allergy. Even a small amount could be life-threatening for your husband. Good thing you brought him in timely. Thank you, Doctor. You know you're allergic to peanuts, don't you? I know. They said there weren't any peanuts in it. You still shouldn't eat things carelessly. You know, even a small peanut is dangerous for you. How could you put me... all of us in such a difficult position? How do you know about my peanut allergy? I've seen your onboarding health report, and all your other information. I'm responsible for each of my team members. That's not right. I remember I didn't mention my allergies on that report. You did mention it, so stop arguing. Kiki, thank you. Stop pretending. What took you so long? My dear Mr. Goo, how did you end up like this? With no one to keep you company? I had to check on you in the midnight. My girlfriend's still waiting for me at home. And I ditched her to see you. Do you feel lucky or what? Didn't you just break up? When did you get a girlfriend? Does it mean I can't find someone new? Enough about me. Are you alright? I'm fine. The hospital wants me to stay overnight for observation. Observation for what? Come on. Let's get out of here. I'm not going. Are you trying to kill me? It's not the first time you've had an allergy. No way, I'm not going. Huh? How's it going at your new company? I hardly see you anymore. It's okay, I guess. But my leader has been ignoring me lately. What happened? Why worry? Your dad's one of the shareholders in that company. Can you not bring up my dad? I got in on my own merit. Let me tell you something strange. Go ahead. It's my leader. How did she know about my peanut allergy? I've only ever told you, my mom, and a few friends about it. How could she possibly know? <laughs> well? She guessed. Who could guess so accurately? You know what? There's something odd about her. I've seen your onboarding health report, and all your other information. I'm responsible for each of my team members. That's not right. I didn't mention my allergies on that report. You did mention it, so stop arguing. Stop overthinking it. She likes you. Stop it. She likes me? If she didn't, why would she know so much about you? She's probably done a lot of research on you, without you knowing. A lot of girls do that. I've experienced it before. No, it's not like that. Listen, she probably wants me quit right away. She assigned me the hardest work, hoping I'd give up. And she said I don't have to join the team building, as if I wasn't even part of her team. She's always so nice to other colleagues, but always gives me the cold shoulder, like I owe her something. If she really liked me, why didn't she stay with me? What? Something's off. What do you mean? Look at you, venting like a little girl. I don't know if your leader likes you, but it's clear that you like her. There's no way I like her. You totally like her. Tell me, is she pretty? Is she pretty? Stop shaking me or we're done. I just don't like you! So please, just quit! Do you know how many calls we made to you? How long we waited for you downstairs? Who brought this cake? Hurry, Ben. Hurry! Sterling, you did mention it, so stop arguing. Kiki Jang, what kind of person are you, really? Sterling. Hey. How's your recovery going? Oh, much better. Thanks, Lena. That's good. Hey. Let's have lunch together. Uh. We've been working on the Balin project for so long, but you secured it right away. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Uh. Sure. 
See you at lunch. Meeting time. Leader, I... Recently, an established national brand specializing in soft cotton products approached us. They want to make their products more appealing to younger people. What ideas do both teams have? Soft cotton products. Hey. This is something women would have more say in. Boss, hmm? I have an idea. Go ahead. We're in the age of influencer marketing. If we want to increase sales, it's simple. For this soft cotton product, they're mainly targeting infants and young women. Many young women are fans of celebrities, and in the future, they'll become young mothers. So I think hiring a popular male idol to endorse the product is the best choice. I disagree. Hiring a popular idol is a shortcut and can harm the brand's culture. It doesn't align with our company's values. I don't see it as a shortcut. A popular idol can also present the brand in a positive way, infusing it with vitality. Meanwhile, it can boost sales. First, why should a brand targeted at infants and young women choose a male spokesperson? Second, celebrities often face scandals. We need to be cautious when choosing endorsers. The future belongs to brands, and we mustn't sacrifice the brand's culture for short-term gains. Kiki Jung, I don't understand what you're getting at. We're discussing how to increase sales. Right. I don't get all this talk about brand culture, but we should do whatever the clients want, right? Can you afford to lose this project? I believe from the brand's perspective, the goal of increasing sales is to provide more people with a comfortable experience. Mm. So we should change consumers' habits and help them realize that using cotton towels every day isn't expensive, but it can significantly improve the quality of life. I think that's what we should focus on in our marketing. Lena, let me ask you. Hiring a top idol for endorsement is so simple. Don't you think they would have thought of it themselves? Why do you think they approached us? Have you considered that? You're talking about marketing, and I'm talking about execution. They're different. Why do you say that? Hiring a popular idol is the best choice, isn't it? Sure. This combination has dominated you the market. You don't understand my point at all. Get out of here now. It's bound to decline over what time. What are you suggesting? Won't boost our sales at all. All right, all right. Sit down. Calm down. Sit. Sit down. Sit down. Calm down, calm down. Uh... Boss. Huh? I request that you let me handle this project. Kiki Jang already has the Balin Center project. And I don't think she can manage both. If you give it to me, I'll make sure you're satisfied with the results. Lena, since you know that I'm in charge of the Balin Center project, when you have a better idea, please discuss it directly with me. Leader, I... Hey. Enough, all of you. <laughs> you're missing the point. I know both teams are looking out for this project and for the company. I'll think this over carefully. Lena, this project is still in the early stages. Once we secure it, I'll give it serious consideration. All right, let's end the meeting here. Meeting adjourned. Kiki Jiang, this project will be mine eventually. Is that so? I'll be waiting to see that. Mom? Mom? Kiki, what's going on? I've been waiting downstairs for ages, and you didn't pick up your phone. Mom, what are you doing here? What do you mean? I told you I'd be coming today. You've been so busy. You forgot I was coming? Uh, I'll be right down. Kiki! Mom! <laughs> hey! <laughs>
Good girl. Why are you crying? I'm fine. I haven't seen you in a while. I'm happy to see you're doing so well. I'm always in good shape. I'm the first to do square dancing every day. <laughs> oh, Mom, what do you need to see me about? You really don't know? Remember I told you about your auntie son's kid? He's nice and considerate. You're meeting him tomorrow. I thought since it's your first blind date, I should give you some tips beforehand. Listen, if you mess it up, how will I face your auntie and sister-in-law? Mom, I told you I'm in the middle of my career. I don't want to think about that. No way. I know you always make excuses. Tomorrow you'll have to go there. No, I... Fine, I'll go. But you have to promise me, you'll get a checkup here tomorrow. A checkup? Why do that? I'm so healthy. Don't waste your money. Well, if you don't, I'm not going on the date. Fine. Tomorrow. You go on the date first, then I'll go for the checkup. It is a big deal in your life. Okay. Have him meet me at my office tomorrow. All right. I'll go get my bag. I'll be with you. Okay. Hello, leader. Kiki, I have something to tell you. Go ahead. I shouldn't have had lunch with Lena today. I don't mind you having lunch with her. I just mind her lack of professionalism. I won't do it again. Anything else? Did your mom come to see you? Hmm? Have fun. Thanks. <laughs> you have lots of nerve. Our company strictly forbids that we can't eat at our desk. It has a bunch of dumb rules. Rules are rigid, but people are flexible. Exactly. Like the rule no dating at work. It's the 21st century. It's ridiculous. Huh? Oh yeah, where's the leader? I haven't seen her all afternoon. Uh, she went downstairs for a blind date. Huh? Shh. Sorry, I thought she was... just kidding. I think it's great. If the guy's really good, and Kiki's at the right age, they can develop a relationship Exactly. She isn't getting any younger. <laughs> you okay? Here, take it. Thanks. Your hand is red. Well, you two go ahead and eat. I'll head downstairs and get some food. Huh? Sterling, let's go together. Sure. Hello. Hello. Are you... The bar owner? Why is it you? Hi, miss. Have we met before? I have forgotten. Stop pretending. How did you end up six years in the past, too? Is it because of Meteor Shower? Six years ago? Meteor Shower? I don't get it. Do blind dates. Require code words now? You're still acting, huh? You and I are in both the future and the past at the same time. That means it's not a coincidence. Miss, I... I really don't know what you're saying. Can you stop playing? I just want to know how I ended up six years in the past, and how long I can stay here. It's a matter of life and death. Please tell me. Let me guess. You've said so many things, like a riddle. Are you trying to leave a lasting impression? But you know, I'm kind of old-fashioned. I prefer the traditional dating process. What do I have to do for you to give me an answer? The answer. People are always chasing an unknown outcome. But do you really have the courage to accept it? Every person's fate is the result of their own choices, isn't it? You make the choices. So why do you ask others for the answer? 
hell are you? I really don't know what to eat for lunch. I'll just order a light meal. Yours is almost there, right? Do you have a lot of work? Don't mind me. I gotta go. Uh, Sterling! Uh, I'm your blind date. I graduated from the London School. Now I'm a general manager of a listed company with a salary of over $100 a year. Your mom told you all this, right? If you've got nothing else to say, I'll leave first. You're still so impatient. When things go beyond what you expect, you want to leave, right? No offense, but that's pretty childish. Just say what you want to say. Cut the nonsense. Wait a minute. The surprise is coming soon. How about this? When we get married, you can quit your job. It doesn't pay much for a month anyway. What did you say? Doing housework and raising kids will be your job. As for your allowance, I'll give you some if I feel like it, but it'll be enough. Are you out of your mind? I've seen gold diggers like you before. Always after rich guys. Are you okay? Watch your mouth. You hit pretty hard. You've got a side chick and you're still dating me? That's low. Listen, Kiki is my girlfriend. Show some respect. Or I'll beat you up every time I see you. Let's go. Sterling, why did you find such a girlfriend? What do you mean? What do I mean? Yvette's liked you for so long. She's beautiful and well-educated. You don't even look at her? But you choose Kiki Jung instead. She's just average looking and has no figure to speak of, like a board. Bro, do you have bad taste or something? If you think Yvette is great, go be with her. Kiki is my girlfriend, so stop making comments. I'm just looking out for you. Looking out for me? No need. You both stop talking. Let's eat. Sterling, women are like clothes, but brothers are like limbs. Don't ruin our friendship over something trivial. Uh -huh. First, Kiki is a woman, not a piece of clothing or an object. Second, I can't be friends with someone who disrespects women. Uh? You heard that, right? Mm. Just ignore them, Kiki. They're all being ridiculous. Yvette was my high school junior. We haven't been in touch for a long time. You don't mind, do you? I know. Let's go. I didn't mean to hold your hand. You're crying? Did that guy hurt you? Tell me. I'll go teach him a lesson. No, don't. Don't let what he said get to you. He thinks he's a big shot because he's rich. In fact, he's nothing. He bastard is not a man. Don't cry. It makes me feel so helpless. Please. Cheer up, okay? All right. Let's head back to work. Okay. Uh, your hand. It's okay, just a little burn. Come with me. Where are we going? Kiki, thank you. You're welcome. Remember to apply it every day. Luckily, it's not serious. You're still the same as before. Before? No, you must have misheard. No, you did say before. I didn't say that. You're mistaken. Kiki, honestly, I find you're strange. I feel like you know me very well. You know I'm allergic to peanuts. And you mentioned before. Moreover, what's even weirder is that ever since I first met you, I've had a feeling hovering over me every day. It's getting stronger and stronger, more and more intense. And the more you ignore me, the more curious I get about you. I just don't understand. 
why you were so against me at first, but then you're so caring and understanding. Why? Huh? Because we got to know each other better and became friends. No, that's not friendship. You care about me. You always look my way, consciously or not. Just like I look over at you. No, you're overthinking it. <sighs> Kiki, look at me and say it. Enough, Sterling. I'm your leader. There's nothing between us. Well, you don't understand what I'm saying. That's not what I want. Watch out, Kiki. What the hell are you doing? Are you all right? Yes, I am. Let's go then. Kiki! Kiki! Is she home? Who is it? Who's there? Kiki, what are you doing? I've been knocking for a long time. I've been here several times. Well, it has been half a year. Listen, my son's graduating in a few days. We'll need this apartment. So pack up and move out. Auntie, I've paid the rent. I know if you have or not, don't I? I haven't received it anyway. No, Auntie, I did pay it. I can show you the records. No need to explain. I didn't get the money anyway. The agency ran off with it. It has nothing to do with me. I'll call the agency and ask them to transfer it to you. Stop calling. You can't find them. Move out quickly. Auntie, I'm a victim too. I really paid. I didn't get the money either. Aren't I a victim? I'm the same as you. No, Auntie, I signed a contract. You can't just kick me out. It's not my problem. I didn't get the money. Don't argue with us. You have one day to pack up. Or don't blame me for being rude. Let's go. Uh, uh. Auntie. Sorry, I was sleeping. Come in, please. Uh. I'll get you some water. No need. Let me tell you. Kiki, I'm here to inform you of something. Look, this contract was signed through the agency, right? You signed for a year, and you've lived here for two months, right? You haven't received any money, have you? Exactly. I didn't get a penny. But look, my family... Your son is graduating soon, right? Mm. He'll need a place to stay when he's back. Yes. Don't worry. Today, I'll pack up all my things. Uh. And those things? I'll get the cleaning staff to tidy up. Don't worry. Bye-bye. Bye, Uncle. Bye, Auntie. Hello, Kiki. What's up? Sterling, the landlady came to kick me out. What happened? Don't cry. I, uh... It's like you have no place to live. Well, stay at my place. I need a hostess. So we're living together this soon? What's wrong with that? Good girl. Don't cry. This time, it's just me. Kiki, huh? why did you bring so much stuff to the office? Something came up. There are a few more bags downstairs. Ben, go and get her things. Thanks. What's going on? Uh, I have to find a new place. Kira, can I stay at your place for a few days? Kiki, of course I'd love that. 
As long as you don't mind it being cramped. Thanks, Kira. <laughs> no need to thank me? Just tell me what's going on. Kira, I paid rent for that place, but the agency didn't give it to the landlady. So I got kicked out. How could he do that? Come with me after work, then. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks, Kira. I'll treat you to dinner. It's done? Is there anywhere else? Here, here. And you complain this one leaks. Only three left. There's one more room available. If you don't like it, that's it. Let's go see it then. Sure, no problem. This way, please. Bring that bag over here. Okay. The box. Where's Kiki? I want to discuss work with her. She's out. Not at her desk at this hour? That's not good, is it? Lina, you know exactly what happened to her. But that can't hold up the progress. The client is pushing. You... Enough. Lina. Just wait for her to come back. You seem to care about her a lot. <laughs> She's really too much. <coughs> <coughs> Sir, can people really live in this collapsed house? Of course. As long as someone moves in. <sighs> Sorry. My budget is not high. Mm. It's a bit expensive. Could you lower the price? Keep an eye out for something cheaper, please. Thanks. Oh, I don't want to share. Uh, yes, I want the whole place. I've got one for a thousand. Come check it out. Okay, I'll come over now. It's too shabby. No way. Kira, come here for a second. I need to talk to you. Uh, okay. I'm so tired, and I still have to check flats. Kiki? Mm? My friend has a place for rent at a low price. I'll take you to see it after work. Really? That's great! Kira, I'm sorry for bothering you these days. Don't be silly. I'm so happy to have you here. You think I don't know? You haven't been sleeping well at night. You don't dare to turn over for fear of waking me up. Kiki, that means you haven't been sleeping either. <laughs> Kiki, listen. This time it'll be perfect. Okay. Hello, sis. I'm out right now. What's up? I'll head back right now. Wait for me. Okay. Kiki, my sister's here. I have to go see her. It's fine. Don't worry about me. Take care. Hi. I'm here to see the flat today.
Kiki, you're sick. Don't move. Why am I here? You had a fever last night. I wanted to take you to the hospital, but you refused, so you slept here. I'm asking why I'm here. <coughs> I have to go to work. I already called in sick for you. I, I took time off too. You took time off too? What are they going to think? It's not the same reason. Well, I still have to leave. Uh, Kiki. What are you doing? I... I didn't mean to... You're sick. Let me help you up. Kiki, don't be mad. You're still not feeling well. You want me to stay with you? What do you mean by that? I don't want to stay with you. I told Kira from the start. I'd move out and leave it to you alone. I was going to move out yesterday, but the power went out. I figured I'd wait until the electrician fixed it, but... So? You find yourself a new place? I'll stay with my mom. You're giving up your house for a female colleague just to give her a place to stay? Kiki, can you not say it like that? Sterling, do you like me? I... I don't know. But I've been thinking about you all these days. I can't help asking myself why. I can't stand watching you struggle to find a place every day. I can't stand seeing Lena constantly breathing down your neck about the project. And I can't stand you don't taking care of yourself and always run yourself down. It's fine, I'm not tired. It's fine for you, but Kira needs rest. Besides, you're sick. How can you find a flat? I'm sorry. I didn't mean anything else by it. Let me think about it. Okay. Since you're up, take your medicine and rest for a while. Kiki, why are you out here? You don't need to move out. Stay here. I'll too. I'll pay you rent on time. Don't interfere with each other. Kiki, I... What I say goes. This meeting's over. <clears throat> Everyone, step it up. Let's pick up the pace. Eh? Lena, why aren't you leaving? Mr. Lee, Kiki and Sterling aren't here. Oh. Well, Kiki, she's out sick. Sterling's probably on leave with the personnel, too. What is it, Lena? Well, Mr. Lee, for the Bayland Center project, Kiki asked me to take charge of the filming budget. Mm. Last week, the client told me it was too high and asked me to redo it, so I made another one. The budget is much lower, so I want to discuss it with Kiki. Last week, she was rarely in the office, I tried to find her again this week, but she's sick. You know, the client's been pushing this project hard. Ah, uh, I see. Well, send me the proposal first. I'll review it for you. Thanks so much, Mr. Lee. No problem. Huh? Mr. Lee, one more thing. There's more. <laughs> Mr. Lee, just now, you mentioned a new project at the end of the meeting. Is it the Kapok project? Mm. Yes. It has been assigned to us. You're sharp to notice. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Lee. But I am wondering if I can handle this project. Kiki already has the big project, Balin. If you give it to me, I can do it just as well. I'm also the head of the department, right? <sighs> Lena, as for this project, I haven't decided yet. I might even handle it myself. Oh. 
<laughs> You'll take it on yourself? That's great, Mr. Lee. If you're leading it, it'll be flawless for sure. No doubt about it. Thank you. He's about to be promoted to general manager, and he's still taking it personally. <laughs> Where's Kiki? When's she going to clear out her junk? Lena, this is her desk. It's not in your way. Why isn't Sterling here? Is that? They're on a date together? Kiki is sick. Sterling has his own business. Don't talk nonsense if you know nothing. You must remember to bring it. What are you looking at? Why looking? It's none of your business. <sighs> Kira, let me see. Come on. Kiki, hmm? stop messing up my kitchen. I'll cook dinner. Go watch TV. No way. I want to cook for you, too. <laughs> Good girl. Let me do it. Oh. You're awake. I... for a walk. You're sick. I'll make you a light soup. Thank you. It'll be ready soon. Just wait a bit. Well, you go ahead. Mm. What's wrong? Um, it's nothing. I... I bought it at random. I don't know if it fits. It does. Thank you. Oh. Have a seat. Mm. Okay. It might not taste great. Give it a try. Sure. I have something to say. Oh, Go ahead. We're roommates from today, but it's temporary. When I get a break at work, I'll find another place. So you don't have to move out. I'll pay you rent for this period. Besides, I hope you can keep this between us. I don't want our colleagues to know that. Kiki, if you feel embarrassed, I can move to my mom's place. Sterling, I'm your leader. What I say goes. Don't give me that crap. Okay, then go ahead. And also, we're not a couple after all. Living together can be inconvenient at times. When I'm taking a shower... You should stay in your room. I'll also do it when you're in a shower. Living rooms for eating only. The rest of the time, stay in our own rooms. No problem. You're my leader. Whatever you say goes. Okay. Here, try my cooking. <sighs> it's a bit salty. I'll cook it again next time. <laughs> The world situation isn't as complicated as their relationship. They were at loggerheads just two days ago. Now they're getting along just fine. Huh? Revise the plan? Of course. I've communicated with the client. I also made changes according to their requests. Did you... Don't worry. I've copied you in the email. Perfect. You've improved. Hmm? It's all thanks to your guidance. 
Do you know something? I don't know anything. I know nothing at all. Lina, have you noticed that Kiki and Sterling's relationship has softened? Something going on? I think so too. I've observed them these days. They come in around the same time when they go to work. Really? Yeah. How about you leave later today and take a look? Bye, Lena. Bye. See you tomorrow. I'm heading out, Lena. Ben, wait for me. I'm leaving, Kiki. Bye bye. Kiki, see you? Okay, bye. Kiki, you're working so hard. Still here this late? Ah, uh, I'm about to leave. Sterling, are you finished? Let's go together. Mm. I'm still busy for a while. You go ahead. Why are you so slow? Well, it's for work. Let's go. I didn't ask you to go so fast. You're too slow. <laughs> Kiki, you're something else. Sterling, I need to talk to you. Can you come out now? Uh, Kiki, breakfast is ready. Kiki, I'm leaving now. Uh, Have your breakfast. Uh, See you at the office. Sterling? <laughs> I got you an iced Americano. Oh, no need. My taste has changed recently. No problem. I'll switch it for you. Waiter! Oh. No, it's fine. Lena, what do you want from me today? Sterling, I like you. Uh, uh? Would you consider being with me? Are you serious? Of course I am. From the day you first joined the company, I noticed you right away. But then you joined Kiki's team. I've seen you two getting close lately. I feel uncomfortable. Lena, I've always seen you as a friend. A friend? The whole company knows I like you, except you. What do you like about me? Do you know me? What do you mean? Ever since I joined the company, You've been helpful to me. You introduced me to all the departments and showed me how things work. I'm really grateful for that. But later on I realized your kindness to me has nothing to do with who I am. You don't like me. When you show interest in me, it's always in front of Kiki. Whenever she does something with me, you'll do the opposite. All along, you've been each other's biggest rivals. Actually, you don't even realize it. Liking me, is just about beating Kiki. You're saying all this just because you like her? Yes, I don't deny that. What's so great about her? 
What does she have that I don't? Lena, you don't know her. Only she can make my heart skip a beat. So, are you two together now? Sterling, I'll make you regret it. This plan is quite difficult. Look here. It's fine. Hand it over to me later. Kiki, Lena, come over here. Ah, oh, take another look. Okay. Do you know what day it is in a fortnight? Yes. Yeah. It's the election for assistant director. That's right. This time, two senior board members will be attending the interview. Which means, it's not just up to me. So you need to work extra hard. Don't let our department down. I've noticed that Lena is in top form today. Don't worry, sir. I'll do my best. You two are my right-hand men. No matter who becomes the director, I'll be at ease. Rest assured, sir. I'll work hard and won't let you down. <clears throat> Prepare your reports quickly and submit them to me. I'll send them up. Got it. Okay. Kiki, wait a moment. I have something else to say. All right. Lena, you can go out first. Prepare well. Kiki, do you remember the Kapok project we discussed a few days ago? Yes. Now the client has confirmed they want to work with us. Lena has come to me several times. She said she wanted to lead it. I thought about it seriously. I can't hand it to her. What you said at the meeting was right. We need to prioritize the client. So, what do you mean by that? Kiki, have you noticed that you've changed a lot in the past month? You've become more mature, both in your manner and your speech. Sometimes it feels like you're a completely different person. Thanks for your compliment. It's because of your great guidance. Hey. Don't be so modest. Do well in the election. I'm rooting for you. Okay. As for the Kapok project, I'll leave it to you. As for Lena, give her some of the less important parts. Mm. So she'll feel better about it. You just oversee the progress and the overall direction. Understood. I'll be mindful of Lena's feelings. Leader, how can you be so biased? I'm also a team leader and I'm a candidate for assistant director. Why do you give them all to Kiki? Am I that bad in your eyes? Lena, what are you talking about? Besides, didn't you leave? You were eavesdropping. Yes, I didn't leave. I knew you wanted to give her the project. You lied to me, you'd do it yourself. I've worked so hard. I've come to you so many times. I've put in so much effort. Don't you know how much I care about this project? Lena, I know it, I understand. I've seen how hard you work every day. But over the past month, Kiki has done an excellent job on every project. You've seen that. That's because you've never given me a chance. It's always Kiki is great at this, or Jung Kiki is great at that. That's because you give her all the projects. She gets the experience, and I don't. I'm your leader. Watch your tone. I'm giving you the crucial parts. Isn't that helpful for you? Then why not give me the entire project? I'm also the head of department. What will the other team members think of me? Lena, what's more important, your work or your pride? Go out and think it over. Get lost! Sir, I actually... Stop it. Out. Uh. Kiki, what gives you the right? What makes you better than me? Kiki, I heard you're in charge of another big project. How do you guys find out so quickly? Kiki, who's Kira? Yeah. There's nothing she doesn't know about the company. Mm. I've got connections everywhere. Unlike you, who knows nothing? Actually, I should thank you guys. Without your full support, our leader wouldn't have trusted me with the project. Kiki, 
I heard you're applying for assistant director next week. I heard about it in the director's office this morning. Are you confident? Yes. It doesn't matter if it's me or Lena. I'll take it. Good luck. Go for it. Back to work now. Got it. I just want you to be healthy and safe. Let me do it. No need. Focus on preparing for your interview tomorrow. Leave this to me. Okay. Thank you. Go on now. I've got this for you. Go for it. Thanks. Here, have some water. Okay. She's out. Kiki, how did it go? I'm so nervous. Don't worry. Our Kiki definitely nailed it. <laughs> well, I wonder who was shaking leg. Kiki, let's go celebrate tonight. Aren't we waiting for the results? I am. I'm sure it'll be you. Yeah, it's definitely you. Mm. <sighs> Move aside. Huh? Lena, are you okay? Well... Let's go grab some food. Come on. Come on. They're celebrating too early. <laughs> Is it because... I haven't worked hard enough. But why can't I get what I want? I'm most envious of Kiki. You have a happy family. And you have Sterling, a rich second generation suitor. What about me? My mom only keeps pushing me to earn money for my brother. Like I'm a money tree. I need this position more than Kiki does. The world should be fair for once, right? Quick, look at this. What's going on? Kiki, Kiki. What's wrong? Bad news. Kiki, come with me. Okay.
take a look. The anonymous email HR received yesterday. How do you explain it? Sir, it's not what you think. What's there to think about? These photos don't tell you anything? I'm not blind. Neither are the executives. You're a senior staff. You should know. Our company doesn't allow office romances. Kiki. I know, but I really... Well, what can I to say to you? Huh? Yesterday, as soon as the election ended, we had already confirmed you'd be the assistant director. But now we receive this email. What should we do now? All executives knows about it. How do you expect me to save face? I'm sorry, sir. But Sterling and I really aren't in that kind of relationship. He's just my subordinate. Don't say sorry to me. Kiki? I told you before. You're a senior staff. Don't make any mistakes, but look what you've done. You've blindsided me. I always thought you and Sterling didn't get along. I never expected... Huh? I really didn't expect it. I'm not dating him. There's been a misunderstanding. It is not up to you. Neither do I. It's all about how the higher-ups see it. What's more, he's Director Fang's son. What were you thinking? You... I don't want to talk to you anymore. Just leave. Get out! I... You can mess it up, but don't drag Sterling down with you. Don't scare me. Sterling. <laughs> Sterling, don't scare me. Sterling. <laughs> Call an ambulance! <laughs> Sterling. Sterling, wake up. Wake up, you can't be in danger. Sterling. Kiki, let me make this clear. If anything happens to Sterling, I'll never forgive you. Mom, I... I'm not your mom. I never agreed to this marriage in the first place. If you hadn't kept it from me, how could he have married you? I didn't expect this to happen either. He will be fine. He'll be okay. I think it's you keep pushing him. That's why he was in such a rush. You're a jinx! What exactly happened? How did Lena end up being selected? Why are you crying, Kiki? What's going on? I'm fine. Leave me alone. It's okay. I'm here. It's okay. Kiki, are you moving out? Yes. Is it because of those photos? Kiki, listen to me. We can explain this. Do you think it will help? Please calm down, okay? Where can you move to? If anyone moves out, it should be me. This is your place. Kiki, listen to me. It's my fault. I can explain it to my dad. He'll help us. But can you... Can you stop being so childish? I am not as lucky as you. I work so hard every day, give it my all, just to become a director one day. But because of you, all my plans were ruined. All my efforts were for nothing. Do you know that? Do you really think so? In your eyes, I'm just a colleague who's affecting your work and your future. Yes. What else? Work and life are more important to you than I am. Yes. You never truly liked me. Yes. Okay. I understand. Promise me one last thing. 
stay here tonight. It's laid out there. It's not safe. Don't you want to know why he is leaving? Whether he stays or not is his decision. Kiki, you didn't used to be like this. He's your team member, and don't you- That's enough, Kira. I need to get back to work. Huh? Kiki. Sterling, think it over carefully. Leaving so suddenly, how can I explain it to Mr. Fang? Don't worry, Mr. Lee. I've already informed my dad. <laughs> it's not just about your dad. I can't bear to lose such a valuable talent like you. You're leaving suddenly. Is this because you're standing up for Kiki? It has nothing to do with her. I came to see you today to clarify the situation. It's always been one-sided on my part. She never accepted my advances. There's no office romance between us. I think our company has been unfair to Kiki this time. Hey. I'm even more frustrated than you are. But the election results have been announced. There's nothing I can do. But speaking of Kiki, she's really a good girl. If it weren't for the policy, I'd support you two. If there's nothing else, I'll take my leave. Okay. Hey. When you see Mr. Fang, give him my regards. Hmm. You reaching out to me? Surprise me. What's the matter? Regretting turning me down? Congratulations. You got what you wanted. You're now the director. Thanks. Kiki lost the election. You did that? What? The email. You sent it. What email? Someone sent an anonymous email to the company. It led to Kiki losing the assistant director position. In other words, you are the biggest beneficiary of this. Everything needs proof, right? It doesn't matter. The experts we hired confirmed that the emails were forged. When the results are out, even without using my dad's connections, I can get you removed from this position. <laughs> You're scaring me? Enjoy your last days as director. Director Ling. Even if I sent the email, wouldn't I have deleted it? What evidence do you have? Even if you can prove the photos are fake, those actions, expressions, and looks are all fake? Was the office romance my idea too? Lena, I never said the email contained photos. Only a few top executives know about this. In order to protect Kiki and me, they kept it a secret. So how do you know that? Besides, Kiki and I aren't in a relationship. It's always been one-sided on my part. According to company policy, anyone who maliciously defames others during the election will be disqualified. Enough! You've resigned from the company. Your guesses, or doubts, can't change the fact that Kiki has been eliminated. We will see. Kiki, do you finish copying the documents I asked for this morning? How do I explain to the boss if you don't? 
I've put them on your desk. Kiki, don't mind her. Kiki, what kind of binding is this? I told you to use glued binding. Don't you understand? Lena, don't go too far. We've always used saddle stitch. Kira, I haven't even started with you. Every proposal goes through me first. Lena, you... Everyone listen up. No more groups or teams. Just follow my instructions. It's fine. I'm in charge here. <gasps> Lena. Lena. Can't this wait? Lena, you should check the company email. Oh my god, look. <laughs> Lena. I never said the email contained photos. Only a few top executives know about this. In order to protect Kiki and me, they kept it a secret. So how do you know that? Besides, Kiki and I aren't in a relationship. It's always been one-sided on my part. According to policy, anyone who maliciously defames others during the election... Shut down. Turn off! All of you to turn it off! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, forgot to plug in my earphones. <laughs> We will see. Sterling. So all of this was Sterling's doing. I won't go into the specifics. I'm sure you're already aware of the situation. I hope that our department won't have incidents like this again. We are a team. We need to work together and move forward as one. As for this time, regarding the assistant director position, the previous announcement is void. Now I'm announcing Kiki Jiang is officially the new assistant director. I believe she will also become the creative director of our department. Thank you, everyone. And thank you, Sterling. Mom, what are you doing here? Why? I can't come to my own house? Oh, of course you can. What do you want to drink? Uh, I'll get it for you. Let me ask you something. Did you quit your job at your dad's company? How did that news spread so fast? Your dad told me the moment he found out. He said you were involved in office romance. God, how could you quit your job for a girl? Mom, what do you mean, for a girl? Can you get the facts straight first? Your dad told me himself. How do you expect me to face your dad? <sighs> What's the problem? I sent you to work at your dad's company for a reason. Do you really not get it? Don't you know? What do you mean? I don't understand. You! You really want me to spell it out? Mom, what do you mean? There are so many companies out there. Why do I have to work at dad's company? I never understood that from the start. Why? Why don't you get it? Let me tell you. Because I can't give you a future, but your dad can. I haven't asked him for anything all these years, but for your sake, I humbled myself to beg him. So you could work hard in front of him. Maybe even get some shares. That way your future would be secure. Do you understand now? Mom, is that really what you think? Mom, I have a good job now. My life is going well. I don't care about the stock and shares. If I lose a job, I can find another one. The last thing I want is to see you humbling yourself in front of him. All these years, haven't we gotten by just fine? Did he ever help us out once? Those stocks and shares mean nothing to me. But you don't know how harsh reality is, how tough the world is. Enough, Mom. We'll rely on ourselves. Let's go to the restaurant. Hi. Come on. Your son's making his own money now. <laughs> You're driving me crazy. You called me here to watch me make a fool of myself? Lena, you know, I'm not that kind of person. Kiki Jiang, you have everything. You're smart, beautiful, excellent at your job. And now you even have Sterling Goo, a rich guy, to protect you. Lena, you're excellent too. I am good for nothing. What do I have? I don't even have a job anymore. 
Now, how can I face my family? Honestly, we all have our own challenges. You don't need to compare yourself to me. I never thought about competing with you. But if you think the position for assistant director is a competition, even if I won, I don't feel like I'm better than you. There's a reason that only I know. I can't explain it to you right now. But I know that the future you, Lena in another world, is incredibly talented. Anyway, I said all this because I hope you can calm yourself down soon. We're actually pretty evenly matched. No, to be precise, I'm not as good as you. I know that it's your family situation that adds so much pressure on you. That's why you're stressed. You're carrying so much on your shoulders. I just hope I can see the old you again, Lena. Kiki, this is our department's new designer, Neil Shu. Nice to meet you, Neil. Welcome to our department. Hi, Kiki. Can you show him to Sterling's? Uh, uh, Kiki, I'll handle it. You guys settle in first. Ben, come help out. Hi. I'm Neil Shu. I'm Ben. Nice to meet you. If you need any help, just come find me. Got it. Hello everyone, I'm Sterling. I'm new here. Uh, uh. It's good to be here. Is it from our group? Kiki, can you take a look at this for me? Sure. Let's go talk inside. Come on. Let me introduce our new colleague, Sterling Gu. Let's give him a warm welcome. I look forward to working together. <sighs> Sterling, I really have high hopes for you. I'll definitely do my best. Thank you, Director. Welcome to the team. Thank you, Director. I won't let you down. Director Fang. Director. This is Kiki Jung. Let's work together for a better future. In this design draft, you need to pay attention to this part. It's pretty important. Sterling, revise this design according to the requirements. Kiki, were you calling me? Okay. I knew it. Kiki still has a soft spot for Sterling. I'll make sure to handle this project well. If there's any issue, you can come to me. Hey, big brother. Hmm? Do you want to buy some flowers? It's Valentine's Day today. I don't have a girlfriend. If you buy these, a girl will definitely like you. Really? Of course. All right, I'll buy one. Hi, sis. Are you buying flowers today for Valentine's Day? Thanks, but I'm not celebrating today. Okay, then. Then I wish you a happy holiday. Thank you. Sterling, how have you been? It's a familiar yet strange world. It's like I had a dream. I only coveted your tenderness for a moment. Then I woke up and was alone again. I miss you. I miss you so much.
This part still needs some adjustments, you know? Okay. Also, check this part as well. Huh? Okay. Good. No problem. Kiki? You're looking worse. I'm fine. I just need to rest for a bit. Sterling, look at your face. Our company really does break up couples, huh? What do you mean, break up couples? Kira, why did you ask me here today? What do you think? What else would I be asking you for? It's about Kiki. What's wrong with Kiki? Let me tell you. Ever since you left, Kiki hasn't been herself at all. She's lost her appetite. She's been throwing herself into work. Do you know why? Because she likes you. Kira, stop joking around. How? I'm serious. Kiki definitely has feelings for you. Otherwise, she wouldn't have called out your name by mistake several times. I didn't know what else to do, so I came to find you. Her health is definitely going to suffer in this way. Don't you like her too? What's going on between you two? If there's a misunderstanding, clear it up quickly. Sterling. Kira, I understand what you're saying, but I need to think about what to do next. Let me think it over. Sterling, you can do it. I can do this. Hello? Kiki. Sorry to bother you again. Did you need something? I know. You must be thinking, what's up with this guy? Bothering you again. Kiki. I just wanted to tell you, my new job is going well. The team has a great atmosphere. It's pretty good. If there's nothing else, I'll hang up now. Kiki. Wait a second. Do you need something? I... I do. What is it? Do you have plans tomorrow night? Can we meet? I'll send you the address tomorrow. If you don't want to come, it's okay. No pressure. The number you've dialed is currently unavailable. That's strange. Why is her phone off today? Coming, I'm here. Uh, Kiki, I knocked for so long before you answered. Are you okay? I was sleeping. Alright then. I called you, but your phone was off. Can't I take a nap? Of course you can. Kiki, let's go shopping. We haven't gone out together in ages. No, probably not. Please, you promised me before. Get up, come on. Fine, I'm getting up. Uh, Let's go. Uh, uh. 
<sighs> Shopping is so exhausting. It's so hot. You're the one who insisted on going out. Kiki, let's go out for a nice dinner tonight. I know a newly opened trendy restaurant. Better not, Kira. You're already broke by the end of the month. That's what you're here for, right? Some other day. We haven't had a meal out together. I don't want a diet. I want a feast. I want a feast. All right, okay. Fine, let's go now. Come on, let's go. Kira, where are you taking me to eat? You'll find out soon enough. I'll go order some food first. Uh, Kira. I'll be right back. Sterling, what are you... Kiki, maybe it's just like you said. I might just be the most shameless person in the world. After you left that day, I realized I can't live without you. I never knew what love at first sight was before, but since I met you, I can't take my eyes off you. I keep asking myself why. When you leave, it feels like a long-time lover has disappeared from my side. The pain is unbearable. Kira told me that you like me and you care about me. My judgment wasn't wrong. Kiki. Give me a chance, please. It's not that I don't want to be together. It's that we can't be together. <sighs> don't force me to be the bad guy. I know you have feelings for me. So what makes you a bad guy? From being with me? If being with me would turn you into a vegetative state or cause your death, would you still want to be with me? <laughs> Answer me! I'm not afraid of that. I'm serious. If one day, I cause you go into a vegetative state, or I cause your death, you're not scared of that? Kiki, I don't understand why you're saying this, but no one knows what the future holds. So much happens in the world every day. Should I stay inside because of that? Sterling. I don't want to lie to you anymore. What I'm about to say might sound really unbelievable. You might think I'm crazy that I'm lying, but I don't care. I have to tell you. I don't belong to this world. I don't even know why I came here. In my world, we were a very loving couple. But on our wedding day, because I kept pushing you, you got into a car accident and into a vegetative state. Since that day, I've lived in regret every single day. I missed you so much. I went crazy thinking about you. But when I saw you again, riding your bike, speeding past me, I changed my mind. Rather than being with you, I want you to live. But no matter how I hide, how I try to escape, we're like two intertwined threads, forever entangled, forever bound together. If you're trying to reject me, you don't need to make up these excuses. I know you won't believe what I'm saying. That peanut allergy, you didn't list that in your job application. I also know your best friend is Kurt. You two met in high school during a fight. And that junior, Yvette, she kept chasing you until graduation. Yvette, I am not. I know you weren't interested in her. The scar on your lower back, it's from when you fell down the stairs as a kid. It's been there all these years. That day your parents had a fight because of you. Not long after, they divorced. You're the person I know best. Everything about you, I understand completely. Kiki, if this is destined to happen, then let it be. No, Sterling. Do you know? Everything that happened six years ago is happening again in this world. If we stay together, then you... I can't be that selfish. We can't be together. 
I can't watch you get hurt again. Kiki, if this is destined to happen, then let's make the most of each day. Before it happens, shall we? Isn't that right? Sterling, am I dreaming? You're awake. You woke me up. Get up. I haven't hugged you enough. Do you know? It's been so long. Since you held me like this, it feels so unreal. Don't overthink it. I'm right here with you. I know. But I'm afraid this is just a dream. That when I wake up, it'll all be gone, and I'll be all alone again. If you keep talking like that, I'm going to get mad. I'll make sure you know. <laughs> this isn't a dream. <laughs> Sterling, Sterling, hurry, help me with this. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I'm off. Give me a kiss. Yep. Kiki, come back early tonight. Okay. How much is this? I'll give you a discount, pretty lady. Uh, and this one, too. All right, thanks. See you next time. I'm back. You're back. <laughs> oh. Huh? Kiki, so you know how to cook? Why didn't you cook for me before? You weren't my boyfriend before. Why would I cook for you? But now I am. <laughs> By the way, my mom is coming over this weekend. I'll introduce you to her. Your mom? What if she doesn't like me? She won't. My mom's never won an argument with me. <laughs> eh? Mom, why are you here? Hi, Auntie. Sterling Goo. Who is this? Why is she in our home? Oh, Mom, let me introduce. This is my girlfriend, Kiki Jiang. Mm. Hello, Auntie. Girlfriend? <sighs> what did you say? I plan to marry Kiki Jiang. Have I spoiled you too much? You've only been dating for a few days and you want to get married? Six One months. Month. Ridiculous. You two don't even know how long you've been dating and you want to get married? Mom, does that really matter? 
Mom, I've already made up my mind. I'm going to marry Kiki, and I was planning to tell you. Oh, so you're informing me? Fine. Let me see. If she can get past me first. Young lady, can you cook? Is your work busy? Can you take good care of Sterling? Auntie, to be honest, I am pretty busy with work. I'm not good at cooking, but I can learn. I'll take good care of Sterling. What does your parents do? Mom, it's me marrying Kiki, not you. So why are you asking all this? Auntie, I'm from the countryside. My dad's a construction worker, and my mom doesn't work. Do you know what Sterling's father does? Mom, I wanted to surprise you today. Haven't you always wanted me to get married soon? Why bring this up? Come here. Sterling. I'm stepping out for a bit. Come here. Mom? What exactly do you want to say? Sterling, I can't agree with you being with a girl like her. Why not? Her dad's a migrant worker. Her mom doesn't even have a job, you know? Mom, I don't care about that. As long as Kiki is good to me, that's all that matters. You, how can you be so shallow? Shallow? What good is her being nice to you? We're not looking for a maid. Wouldn't it be better to find someone more suitable? Mom, listen to me. This... Wait a second. The girls I've introduced to you, aren't they all better than her? Mom, I'm not interested in any of them. I only like Kiki. If you want to keep talking about this, I'm just going to leave. <laughs> Sterling, I don't agree with this. Kiki, was it because my mom treated you like this before? That's how you knew she would react this way? I'm sorry you had to go through that. Sterling, you brought up our marriage with your mom today. Do you really want to marry me? Didn't you say before our wedding was only half finished? I want to complete the rest of the ceremony. That way it will feel complete. You won't have any regrets. Isn't that your biggest wish? Sterling, I'm content with a life like this. I don't want any more accidents to happen. They won't, Kiki. You're overthinking it. Kiki, reception says someone's here to see you downstairs. Okay, got it. So Sterling quit his job for you? Yes. Let's go. Let's talk privately. Let's get straight to the point. Miss Jang, do you know why I'm here? You want me to leave Sterling? You're smart. First, I have to admit, you're very capable. You won a scholarship every year in college. Now you're already one of the top planners in the industry. But you and Sterling aren't a good match. He needs someone who's his equal. So. When you talk about getting married, I don't agree. Auntie, I can understand what you're saying. This is the first time you're meeting me. You know nothing. I really do understand. After you got divorced, you raised Sterling all by yourself. When Sterling was studying abroad, there was a time when his expenses were cut off for half year. But you didn't let him suffer at all, not even for a moment. You worked three jobs to support him. The illness you developed from that still flares up when it rains. Kiki, it's good that you know this. Since you know this, you should also understand what kind of girl Sterling needs. You can't help him. Maybe I can't help him. But we can work on it together. 
Kiki Jung, do you really think life can be changed only through hard work? You should think about that. You're back. <sighs> did my mom come to see you again? How did you know? She came to see me this morning too. We had a fight. Well, we nearly broke off our mother-son relationship. Your mom's worried about you having a hard life. I'm a man. What's wrong with a little hardship? I can't stand how she treated you before. Kiki. Honestly... Let's get married. If we get married, my mom won't be able to oppose anything. It's like a done deal. No, we can't get married. Why not? I'll walk the path with you that we didn't finish before. Everything you said before, even though it sounds unbelievable to me, I really feel like we've been together for a long time. No, Sterling. This might seem romantic to you, but to me it's terrifying. Aren't you afraid of the car accident anymore? Besides, your mom hasn't agreed either, just like before. Kiki, I'm serious. I don't care about anything else. Let's get married first. As long as we're married, my mom won't be able to oppose us. All right. <laughs> no, I don't want to go against your mom's wishes again, and I don't want to take that risk. Don't bring up marriage again. What? Is wanting to get married wrong now? <laughs> Congratulations, congrats. Enjoy married life. <laughs> Congratulations. Here's to growing old together. <laughs> Kiki. It's all because of you. Sterling, I won't let the car accident happen again. I can't argue with you. You're with your team leader now, so you don't come to me anymore? You only come to me when you have a fight. Well, you've seen a lot and know a lot, right? Let me ask you something. If something happens to someone in one timeline, and it happens exactly the same in another timeline, if something really bad is going to happen in the future, what should be done? What's going on? Have you gotten dumb from being in love? Answer my question. I don't know anything about timeline A or B. But girls, they're all unpredictable. Like my girlfriend, she's a good girl at home, a queen at the club, and a model student back at school. Don't be silly. I'm talking about my girlfriend, and you're talking about... I get it. Events are tied to time, place, and people. What? If you change the time and place, the event won't happen, right? Kurt, I've decided. I'm going to marry Kiki Jung. I'm off. Come by later. Ah! What about the yacht? Why are you so exhausted? Kiki, I need to ask you something. The things that happen in this world, have they happened in your world too? Mostly, yeah. But there are some differences. Like you and I work at the same company, but house isn't in the same complex as before. That's it. Events are influenced by time, place, and people. Where was our wedding last time? It was on the lawn. Sterling, do you really want to get married that badly? Of course. You've been living cautiously because of me. It makes me feel so bad for you. I'm in such a hurry to marry you. Not just to fulfill your wish, but also to help you get past this hurdle quickly. Once we prove everything's fine, you'll be able to move on from it. I understand, Sterling. It's just that, let's not talk about anything else for now. Your mom doesn't agree with us being together. Last time, we got married without your mom's approval. I am so regret for being immature and not listening to the elders. I don't want to repeat it. 
You shouldn't stay mad at your mom. Go apologize to her, okay? Please be good, okay? Will you? Okay. I'll go apologize right away. Look at you. I knew you'd soften up. A mother can never win against her son, right? I can only say this matter. Let's just leave it at that. Kiki, this girl, she's not bad. As for other things, forget about it. After all, I am his mother. I don't want Sterling to hold a grudge against me forever. Don't say that. Sterling's very understanding. Okay. Mom, my attitude wasn't good before. I apologize to you. Regarding me and Kiki, I still want to talk to you about it. I hope you can agree to us being together. Sterling? Is anyone home? The door's not locked. Hello, Mr. Goo? That's me. Your package. Oh. Thanks. Baby. Hmm? Did you buy something? No, I didn't. That's strange. I didn't buy anything either. <laughs> oh! Kiki, my mom agreed to our marriage. <laughs> Kiki, let's get married. I don't think I will get into a car accident again. <laughs> Don't say anything inauspicious. <laughs> Kiki, let's get married. My mom's agreed. Oh, God bless. No, let me think about it. I... No, don't hesitate. No, I need to think about it. Uh... You have to let me think. Don't overthink, okay? I think it was right here. Hello? Excuse me, is there a bar called Goodbye Lover around here? I remember it being nearby. Goodbye Lover Bar? Oh. Never heard of it. I've lived here for over 10 years and never heard of it. Okay, thank you. Excuse me, sir. Have you seen a man? He is very neatly dressed like a gentleman. He doesn't quite look like everyone else. No, no. Thanks anyway. Long time no see. Blind date girl. It's you. I almost thought I wouldn't find you. Regretting it? Be serious. I need to ask you something important. I can't answer that. I haven't even asked yet. You're still so cute. Just like when we first met at the bar. I knew you were pretending not to know me. It's not important. I'm with Sterling now. He wants to marry me. I just want to know if I marry him. Will the same thing happen again? Answer me! Lady, I'm not a god. How would I know? This world is full of unknown variables. You have to keep moving forward to find out if what's waiting for you is heaven or hell. So should I get married or not? I really don't want the accident to happen again. There's nothing I can do. Sorry, kid. I'm leaving. <laughs> Miss, what are you doing? You. Kiki. Actually, everything is in your hands. <laughs> the noodles should be ready. You need to focus on the image's details a bit more. It doesn't look good like this. Here. Oh. All right, bye. Try it. I'm not hungry, you eat first. No way. Come on, eat before you continue. All right, I'm full. Uh. 
That's it? Hey, hello. Such delicious noodles. Is this the hotel? I want to talk to you. About our wedding. I hope it can be arranged in a slightly larger venue. Yes. I've checked it out. It's supposed to be sunny on both Saturday and Sunday. And there are no restrictions on cars. And when your motorcade sets off, you must follow the route I've planned. Make sure to stay safe on the road. There can't be any issues. Let's be in touch before then. Okay. That's it. Bye. Kira. The setup for the event that day. Make sure you keep an eye on everything. There can't be any mistakes. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Good. Thanks, Kira. Thank you so much. Okay. Thanks. Love you. Mwah. All right, so for the wedding banquet menu, the band, the guest list, I've got it all planned out. Auntie, let's leave it at that for today. I'm hanging up now. Bye. Sterling, stop messing around. Are you getting overly anxious? You don't understand. This wedding has to be perfect. Everything is under my control. <laughs> Hello, Mom. Wow. Kiki, you look absolutely stunning today. Kiki, you are so beautiful. Sterling's going to be totally mesmerized. You... Come on. She still needs you all to look after her in the future. Mom. Of course. Such a wonderful daughter-in-law. Don't worry, Mom. I'll take good care of Kiki. Of course. You are beautiful. <laughs> all right. Stop saying these sweet things. Does everyone remember the wedding process? We can't mess anything up today. No problem. We've gone over it so many times. Don't worry. I got this. What's wrong? I forgot the ring. No way! You're just thinking of that now? I'll go back and get it right now. <sighs> Don't go. We can get married without a ring. <sighs> right. If you go back, you might not make it in time. <sighs> it's only an hour round trip. It won't delay anything. Right. No. Sterling Goo, you can't go back. We've come this far. Everything's going well right now. As long as we stick to the plan, you'll be safe. You know what I'm most afraid of? It's just a ring. I really don't care. Kiki, what are you saying? What do you mean? It's nothing, Mom. Kiki, I really don't want our wedding to have any regrets. If you insist on going back for that stupid ring, then we'll break up and the wedding's off. What are you saying, Kiki? Sterling, listen to Kiki's advice. Forget about the ring now. Uh, Let's focus on the wedding first. Uh, don't worry. All right, Kiki. I won't go. Don't be mad. Come on, Kiki. You don't want your makeup to smudge. That's right. Let's touch up your makeup. Let's go. Makeup artist, come over here. Hey! Coming. What's the matter? There's no need to be rushing anywhere. Mom, did Dad and the others arrive? They've been here for a while. Your dad told me. He wants to introduce you to some family elders. Come with me. Mom, Kira, please take care of Kiki. Hey. No problem. Sterling, look. Uncle Wei, when you were a kid, he was really good to you. He's doing well now. Huh? Why aren't we moving? Mom, I think... I still need to go get the ring. I want you to get it too. It's your wedding. I don't want any regrets. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> don't get all sappy. Go quickly and come back. I'm going now. Uh, be careful. Hey. That's it. Thank you. Kiki is truly beautiful. Mm -hmm. Where's Sterling? Wait. Oh, God. You can't go a moment without seeing him? Come on. Have you seen him? He was going to greet some family elders and ask me to look after you. What's wrong? Greet the elders? The number you dialed is temporarily unavailable. Ah. Kiki, where are you going? I'm looking for Sterling. What's wrong, Kiki? Have you seen Sterling? No, I haven't. What's wrong? This process... Mom, 
You must let us... Kiki! I'll let you get back to work. Okay. Mom, where's Sterling? He was just here a moment ago. Maybe he went to the restroom? He's probably just nervous. <laughs> Kiki Jung, uh, you look so beautiful today. Boss. Hello? I've got a big red envelope for you. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, boss. Where did Sterling go? Uh, Kiki, I think he might have something to take care of. Mom, you shouldn't joke about that. Uh, Kiki. Sterling Gu, I told you not to go back, but you insisted. But I'm fine, aren't I? Look, I got the ring back. <laughs> Kiki! Where am I? What happened to me? You finally woke up. I called you so many times, but you wouldn't wake up. So, how are you? It was all just an illusion. You've finally fulfilled your wish, haven't you? Where's Sterling? Where did Sterling go? I told you, don't ask me. I'm not all powerful. I'm just an observer. Hello, Kiki. Where are you? Come quickly to the rehab center. Sterling is conscious. Okay. Even though you always say random things, I think you must have helped me. Even if you didn't, I still want to thank you. How is he? Let's go inside and see. Don't worry. Auntie. Sterling, he... He's just regained consciousness. If you want me to completely forgive you... We'll talk. After he fully wakes up. Auntie. Go ahead, go. I'll leave now. Sterling. Didn't they say you were awake? Why are you still unconscious? Do you know? I really don't want to see you lying in that hospital bed again.
Tiki. I slept. For a long time, didn't I? You must have worried me. Sterling, you don't know how happy I was. When you woke up. When I was asleep, at first I felt like I was floating. I floated for such a long time. I finally found something to hold on to. I swam to the shore. Then I had a dream. I dreamed that we got married. I accidentally left the ring at home. I ignored your protests and went back to get it. When you came to find me, a car came speeding toward us. You used all your strength to push me out of the way. I saw you lying in blood. I was terrified. I kept calling your name. I felt so awful. I was so scared. Thankfully, I woke up. Kiki. Thankfully, it was just a dream. As long as you're fine here. Sterling, we'll never be parted again, all right?